what a week we've had, chat. Uh, we get to expose the mainstream media and exactly how corrupt they are. Uh, even on the entertainment level, it's ridiculous. You can't even report the news at this point without causing trouble for yourself. Keep that in mind. If the news is about somebody who's not allowed to be talked about, uh, you can't report it. And we have caught CBR in the act of being corrupt once again. This is really fun. They're supposed to be like the premier comic book news. They're supposed to talk about comics, but they literally have directives not to talk about certain things. Uh, and it's really funny that the news cannot be discussed as a news company. It means that nothing they say can be trusted. It means that nothing the access media says has any sort of value. They're never going to be honest with you, but that's why you're increasingly turning to places like here for the news about comics about culture and of course uh, you're increasingly turning to us for the actual content of producing culture as well which i appreciate over the last few years we've done exceedingly amazing with our graphic novels and our novels and here's a wonderful one that we did last year that surpassed anything the mainstream media had to offer i really appreciate you guys for coming in so hard on that let's get into what's happening and how dan didio is being canceled in real time just for talking to me it's crazy Whew. Never expected this to happen. All right, my name's John Delarose. If you're new to the channel, this is my Amazon page uh, for, for Steam and Country. It's my biggest selling series. I've sold uh, over 30,000 copies of this book so far, and it's a six book series, uh, so you've got a lot of legs on this. It's novels, and of course, I've got audio books on here as well. You can find this as well as all my other sci-fi series and the like on my Amazon page. And I also wanna direct people to my Subscribestar. So Subscribestar is like a Patreon alternative. Naturally, Patreon as a left-wing SJW business has banned me. So I came over here and we're starting a movement where I'm trying to use the Patreon or rather the Subscribestar funds to get uh, people to help, uh, you know, build our business here and cover all the art costs to produce monthly comics. That's going to be the goal. We can't do it just yet. We're going to be doing a few pages at a time as we build up. But as we build up, we're going to do more and more and more and produce more and more content. I actually showed uh, one of my artists that I'm working with uh, did a little sketch of uh, Dick Tracy. Uh, out of the blue he says he loves mob stories from the 30s and that's the type i love that stuff too to be honest uh it's classic pulp uh fair at that and uh steve ditko loved to produce stories about the mob and things like that too so i definitely would love to continue in that tradition so if you guys are interested in that kind of thing i, I put up just a question asking if people are interested in that. And of course, you can mention whether you are or not on here if you're a subscriber. Please get on here and support our movement as we're going forward. Really appreciate you guys for being there. So I saw this this morning, and here it is. Uh, this came from CBR. Former DC publisher Dan DiDio explains woke culture in comics. The article is no longer up. And this is what I said. You can't you can't even report the news at CBR Comics. There wasn't an archive made of it. They took it down fast uh, before anybody, of course, got it. So I can't actually show you what's on it. But I did read the article, so I am able to communicate what the crux of it was about. They actually said uh, that Dan DiDio came on my stream and he started talking about uh, woke culture in comics. He said that there was corporate people out there who really just don't even have any idea what they're doing in comics. A lot of the people involved in this stuff don't read comics and don't understand stuff. Stuff, and so they want to do their little political rants, and it causes problems more often than not. But at the end of the day, he says, corporations are just soulless vampires who don't care about anything other than profit. And so uh, he made that comment, and of course, uh, that's making the rounds across the internet at this point. It's He's right, uh, but you're not allowed to be right. You're not allowed to say things. You're not allowed to even comment on the topic. Now, the article also states that, you know, th there's a perception growing over the last 10 years that left-wing politics has permeated comics. I mean, th this article was very fair. I'm, I'm very surprised about this. And, uh, you know, that's happening in a lot of sectors of fandom right now. And it is. Now, CBR is not allowed to acknowledge that. Remember, CBR, Comic Book Resources, is like the premier access media for Marvel and DC. They're supposed to shill for them. They're supposed to shill for Heather Antos at IDW and pretend we don't exist. And it actually referred to me directly. And it said, John Delarose of Bounding Into Comics had Dan DiDio on his live stream they just said it like that they didn't even preface it with like a like all right provocateur like like they usually do i mean it was just a straight up news article that was reporting what dan didio who ran dc comics for 20 years said that is news that is comic book news you should be able to talk about that you should be able to discuss that but in the context of what's happening with the woke politics destroying the industry that's tearing it apart at the seams retailers are telling me that sales are worse than ever before they're not allowed to discuss it. They're supposed to pretend everything's fine. They're supposed to pretend these people who are amateur 
hacks destroying the industry right now are somehow just as good as the writers of the past and that we're just uh, have to be gaslit into whatever they want. It is where things are, and it's why the corrupt access media has to go away at this point. But you know what? We're going to continue to report the news both here and at Bounding Into Comics. We're going to tell things truthfully. We're going to say what we mean. And that's why you guys come to us, because we're authentic, we're real. And gosh, the more these people complain about that happening and that there is authenticity out there, the more people come over to our side. It just means we're winning. It's a beautiful thing. All right, thank you guys so much. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. A lot of people do watch these videos. I'd say about 60% who are not subscribed to the channel, and I really would love you to come on board with us. Like I said, join our movement, read the books, because we're producing wonderful content, not just the news here. We've got our books, our comics, our culture that is being built as a parallel economy to this stuff as well and we're doing amazing and that's why they have to delete all mentions of us leave a comment down below with what you think about this and we'll see you soon